Today, I will share with you some of the most exciting news in the history of this channel. On November 24th, 2023, Jack Horner announced that he is closer than ever to bringing to life what every dino nerd has dreamed of. Join our Dino Nerd Club Discord server to chat with other like-minded people, share your art, or suggest new video ideas. I've already done a couple from recommendations. Let us know how you feel about this topic in the Discord and get us to 1,000 members, and if you're that 1,000th member, you'll get a special role on the server. Jack Horner is an American paleontologist renowned for his contributions to the dinosaur world. He is best known for describing Myasaura and proving that some dinosaurs care for their young. In addition, he was the technical advisor for the first five films of the Jurassic Park franchise, and was partial inspiration for the legendary character Dr. Alan Grant. Jack Horner gave a TED talk where he spoke of his ambition to genetically modify a chicken into a creature resembling a dinosaur. Jack Horner proposes that all birds are actually living dinosaurs, but just look different. Birds lack long tails, their arms are wings instead of hands, they have a beak, and they are toothless. Of course, this is not new information. At this point, both the scientific community and the public are mostly aware that extant birds are the direct descendants of the non-avian dinosaurs. Jack Horner's Dino Chicken Project seeks to genetically engineer modern chickens to replicate a dinosaur-like phenotype. Phenotypes are the set of observable characteristics produced by genes. This means that his dino chickens will be 100% chicken genetically. To achieve the dino chicken dream, Jack Horner and his team identify proteins that produce certain characteristics in chicken embryos and block them using biochemicals. For example, proteins FGF and WNT are known to produce beaks in chicken embryos. When those proteins are blocked, something incredible happens. The chicken embryos produce snouts instead of beaks. Jack Horner's project aims to identify each protein that evolved dinosaurs from birds and revert them back to include the tail, claws, snout, teeth, and more. That being said, there are some ethical concerns regarding this project. Apparently, he and his team at Montana State University haven't been cleared to hatch the eggs, so we don't know much about what their quality of life is like when alive. Will they only be alive for a few hours? Or will their entire existence be agony like pugs? The proteins that produce a healthy living specimen may be extremely complicated and interrelated, and blocking just a handful of them might produce an egg full of pug goop. Time and research reports will tell. Jack Horner has provided updates on this project throughout the years since his TED Talk in 2011. Here is one of his posts from X made in 2020. The Chickenosaurus project is still underway, but we discovered that the reduction of the tail from dinosaurs to birds didn't conclude with an atavistic gene, so we are now trying to understand how the bird tail formed. Once understood, we'll try to reconstruct the dino tail. On November 24th, 2023, Jack Horner provided the most exciting news thus far. After 13 years, Dino Chicken Project has reached a threshold. We now know how to initiate teeth, alter skull shape, transform wingtip to a three-fingered hand, and produce a bony tail. Next and final step will likely have to be on an island with a generous, intrepid donor. Hashtag Dino Chicken. According to Jack Horner, he and his team have successfully solved the mystery of bird tail formation and several other dinosaur characteristics. He makes it seem like they have successfully created a dinosaur chicken by mentioning that the next and final step will be finding a place to house them, but that part is probably just a joke. In the case of this tweet though, I desperately want to believe that he is telling us the truth. If he's as far along in this project as he claims, we should be seeing dino chickens with our very eyes in the next few years. As amazing as this project is, we've often heard huge announcements on social media proclaiming that progress is underway, but talk is cheap. According to Randy, owner of Randy's Chicken Blog, the project may not be as successful as Jack Horner claims. Here's an article from Randy's Chicken Blog. Ten years have almost passed, and little to nothing has been heard regarding Jack Horner's Chickenosaurus project. Randy's Chicken Blog dispatched a crack team of investigators to scrutinize this project and determine what, if any, progress has been made. The scientist, who we will refer to as Dr. X, gave this shocking account of the project. Everything was going so well, we had it in the can. We had a prototype with the teeth, the tail, the claws, everything. The final step was to clone that prototype. We produced almost 700 clones and injected them into chicken eggs, put the eggs into incubators, and waited for them to hatch. Then one dark and stormy night, our most vulnerable looking, easily frightened, loudest screaming lab assistant was on duty, and he heard pipping noises coming from the incubation chamber. He went to investigate, and sure enough, there were pip marks on an egg, and there was obvious movement on the inside. He moved closer to get a better look. And then it happened. It was shocking. A tiny, perfectly formed replica of Russian President Vladimir Putin karate chopped his way out of the egg. Soon the other eggs were hatching and they were all the same. Every egg that hatched, all 666 of them, produced tiny duplicates of Putin. Our project obviously had been hacked by the Russians. I'm not gonna lie, I was on the edge of my seat reading that for the first time. Obviously this article is satire. Or is it? After all, there is a well-known conspiracy theory explaining how the Putin we see in the news today is not the same Putin from the past. In fact, there are many versions of Putin. Perhaps this article holds the key. In all seriousness, this article does have a more subversive point. It's very easy for anyone to get on the internet and post whatever they want. For all we know, Jack Horner hasn't made any progress on the Dino Chicken Project at all. 
Until we see undoctored images of real progress in the project, we shouldn't get our hopes up. I actually made a video about this topic back in 2016. As awful as the video quality and stock music was, and as pretentious as I sounded, I actually had some good points. We will never be able to bring back the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era. DNA only lasts 6.8 million years, making us a bit late to save them. But take it from cringe teenager me. That being said, we should never forget about the dinosaurs that live on our planet today. Every single day, revolutionary new techniques in genetic engineering and biology are being reached, enabling us to experiment and essentially play with the way creatures are structured in our world. What I'm saying is that we can bring back the dinosaurs through animals we already have on this planet. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.